Now, Tennessee is well known for having some colorful names for small towns. Places like Sweet Lips, or Ducktown, Finger, and even a town called Nameless, Tennessee. But there is one place in the East Tennessee mountains that is so unique and odd, most folks have never heard of it. Anyway, I decided to do some snooping around and find out exactly what's behind the true story of how Stupidville, Tennessee got its name. Our story starts back in the early 1960s in Morgan County, Tennessee. You see, just a few miles outside of Wartburg, right in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains, lived Mr. and Mrs. Sam Briggs. Now, these folks were your typical rural Appalachian family. Yes, sir, honest and hard-working good people. Sam ran a service station with a couple of gas pumps and a small grocery store. He was a respected man of the area. And being the businessman that he was, he kept up with all the local politics of the area. Now Sam was becoming concerned that many small towns and communities in the area were completely disappearing. Places like Camp Austin, Nemo, and Annadale had literally just dried up. All the folks just moved away, and the houses were just rotting away, lost forever to time. Sam figured it was the politicians' fault for not promoting the area to businesses and outsiders. And he decided he didn't like the way that Morgan County government was doing business, so he called a meeting with the local leaders to express his concerns. Now keep in mind that Sam wasn't the type of man to complain about a problem and not offer a solution. So he even proposed ideas to try and bring in more tax dollars to the area. And after he was done speaking, the good old boy politicians just laughed and laughed at Sam, and they even told him that his ideas were just stupid. Well now, Sam wasn't the type of man to let someone call him stupid and get away with it. No sir. So he decided that since he didn't like the way the politicians at Wartburg were doing business, he would start his own town just a few miles away. Heck, I might even annex Wartburg into my new town and thereby gain control of it, he thought to himself. That's right, Sam Briggs was now a man on a mission, and the first thing he needed was a name for his new town. What was the new name, you might ask? Well, you guessed it, Stupidville, Tennessee. Indeed, Stupidville, Tennessee had a population of 187 people, and it was located just a few short miles from Nosy Valley, Tennessee. Mr. Sam Briggs was the first mayor of Stupidville, where when people would ask him what his job was, he would respond, Minding my own business is a full-time job, and if you don't like it, there's a place for you down in Nosy Valley. Sam marketed the town as the greatest little place in the world and said it was a retirement oasis where you could get away with anything. Besides, as he said, when you come from Stupidville, that's what folks expect. Well, since Nosy Valley and Stupidville were located so close to each other, rumors started to swirl about, with folks wondering how each of them got their name. Now, it was well known to the locals that Mr. and Mrs. Sam Briggs' marriage of 30 years was on the rocks, and they couldn't get along, so they separated. Sam moved down the road a few miles, and his wife stayed in the old house. Well, the legend goes that Sam wanted to get even with her, so one night while she was sleeping, he snuck back to the old house, and he put a sign in her yard naming it Nosy Valley. When his wife saw the sign, she was furious, and a few nights later, she snuck into his yard and put up a sign saying Stupidville. Well, rumors aside, it wasn't long before folks driving down Highway 27 would see the signs of Nosy Valley and Stupidville and they began stopping at Sam's store. They would take pictures with the signs and ask all sorts of questions and most importantly, they would spend a lot of money at Sam's store buying gas and groceries. Heck, even Sam began signing autographs. Yes, sir, he was a local celebrity. Even the New York Times ran an article on the town of Stupidville. That's right. Sam had created a town and a tourist destination that put Morgan County, Tennessee on the map. 
And with all the money he was making, those politicians back in Wartburg didn't think he was so stupid anymore. Well, a few years went by, and Mr. and Mr. Briggs ended up getting a divorce, so Sam finally packed up his bags and he moved away from Stupidville to Knoxville. The local residents were shocked and saddened to lose their mayor. They called an emergency election and they elected a new mayor. They searched high and low and elected the best man in town, a fine 23-year-old man who had just returned from serving his country in the Navy. That's right, the new mayor of Stupidville was Mr. Sam Briggs, Jr. And now, my friends, you know the true story of Stupidville, Tennessee. Thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel, where I share all sorts of Appalachian history and storytelling. Till next time, my friends.